Aloha time, everyone. I'm Audrey Tang, Taiwan's Digital Minister. It gives me great pleasure and joy to share some thoughts and vision of the open source system with you on such an auspicious occasion. Now, MoDA, the Ministry of Digital Affairs, my ministry, was established last August. Our vision is digital resilience for all. We want to collaborate with all developers and publish all our code and gather the efforts of all democracy-loving nations to maintain and develop various infrastructure together to make sure that when Taiwan uh, suffers a large earthquake that disrupts the submarine cables, we can still continue operating. Now, of course, with the continuous revision and feedback from partners around the world, the growth of open source system enable a new kind of digital public infrastructure. Last August, even before we launched, the previous US Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan. Immediately followed her visit, there was a giant distributed denial of service attack, DDoS attack. The likes have never been seen in Taiwan, 23 times more than the previous peak in a single day. And Moda already set up like a giant sandbox to try the latest open source technologies, responded to this challenge by launching our website exactly the same hour as the drill started from the PRC, uh, the PLA around the Taiwan Strait. Now, we adopted not just the traditional Web2 CDN like Cloudflare, but we also embrace the open source infrastructure called the Interplanetary File System, or IPFS. It's a key part of our Web3 strategy. So anyone with some spare bandwidth, some spare hard disk, even if they live in authoritarian regimes, if they support Taiwan, they can pin our website on IPFS at IPNS, um, colon slash slash mode.gov.tw. And with this decentralized democratic data storage solution, anyone can help backing us up. And we did get a lot of help from people around the world, and even from Protocol Labs, the designer of the IPFS. And therefore, there is no cause for concern regarding the website sabotage for Moda. And we immediately share this know-how with the other ministries uh, being affected by the attack. So importing public infrastructure as public code to the public sector is our major task. We already release our content and code to the public domain, like the, some of the US federal government under the CC0, Creative Commons Zero, public domain license. And we're also exploring the possibility of introducing public code systemically through our procurement reform. We hope to shape a common digital resilience infrastructure with all democratic partners to co-create a digital governance paradigm for the globe. So thank you for listening. I wish a great event and live long and prosper.